Hi, Make Bone Gang. Vinny here. We're in New Orleans today. I'm here to clean up this town. But not from the crime or the trash or the potholes or even the corrupt politics. We're here to take out the invasive species known to most as the Rio Grande Cichlid. The Texas Blue, the Texas Cichlid, the Blue Perch. That's right, folks. The Rio Grande Cichlid has to go. So I'm here on Bayou St. John. It runs right through Mid City. And if my history is correct, this here bayou is uh this bayou yeah, is a uh, part of the reason why New Orleans was put where New Orleans was put. The water here is pretty see-through, which could be a good thing. The only issue is I'm not seeing any rocks, and them uh, cichlids tend to like to huddle around the rocks. So we might have to work ourselves back down to where I normally catch them. I was trying a new spot, but uh, you never know. Let's toss it out there and see. All right, I got a ton of little baby somethings on there. Just took my bait. Can't even tell what they are, they 5090. All right, let's try and get it up closer to this grass right here. To the edge and see. Oh, still the same little dudes coming to pick on it. Oh, look at that. Ooh, gotta tighten up that drag. Come on, come on out of there. Let's see what we got. Nope, not what we're looking for. All right, buddy. Let me get you back, T-boy. Hold on. All right, I see two giants right there. Holy moly. If we can get them big boys, we'll be in business. Goodness gracious, look at the size of them. I don't know if y'all can see them. I'm gonna try and throw it out there and bring it into them. God, massive, massive. And they don't even much care. Not even looking at it. All right, we're gonna put a big worm on there. Goodness gracious, that dude is huge. Let's put a big worm on there. Big bait, big fish, right? That's what they say. I'm gonna put this whole bad boy on there. Y'all, if I catch that one, that's like the biggest one I've ever seen. Where'd they go? Where did they go? I wonder if they, I wonder if they spawning right there. Oh, I can't see in the glare. Come on, man. Come on, man. See a little bitty baby bass and a perch right behind him. But that's not what we're looking for. Oh, I see him. Oh, he's coming closer. He's coming closer. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it. Nope, nope, he turned away. What is happening? Just take it. One of you. It's right there. It's delicious. It's a nice, fresh, scrumptious little red worm. And no. Whoop. Where'd my cork go? Oh, way up there in the tree. Beautiful. That's just beautiful. Can I, can I get that? Can I get that back, sir? Got one looking at it. He's thinking about it. Man, what is the deal? They're right there. They're just not hungry. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me where the cichlids are? Wait, where are you going? We'll get you too, then. This looks like a good spot to get bit by a snake. <clears throat> There's two bass looking at my cork. They're about this big. There we go. There we go. Still gotta tighten this drag. That shouldn't be that little bitty thing shouldn't be dragging. That's what we're looking for though. That's what we're looking for, guys. Little real grand cichlid. Look at him. Well, he ain't quite as pretty as they get. They get they get much more prettier than that. We're gonna catch a few and I'm gonna show you, but uh they is that is a Rio Grande cichlid native to the Rio Grande River in Texas. Invasive species down here in New Orleans or down here anywhere in Louisiana really. And they compete with our native bluegill species. So wildlife and fisheries. Whoa, come on, buddy. All right, well, just sit there then. Wildlife and fisheries has a kill order on these things, believe it or not. So you have to kill them. You cannot put them back in the water alive. Uh because that's illegal. So we can drop them there in the bucket. As a matter of fact, I need to go back to the Jeep. Yeah, let me do that. Let me put some ice in here so that uh, we're not carrying around hot fish the whole time. As you can see, I had my little bait bucket with me and I had the little aerator because I was just going to put a little bit of water in there and keep them alive until I could throw them in the ice chest. But as I was explaining to y'all that you can't keep them uh, alive, I remembered I can't have them alive. I can't transport them alive. So. If wildlife and fisheries come out here and see me with a bait bucket and aerator keeping them uh living they might think i'm trying to transport them somewhere and 
liable to get myself a ticket. Is that a bird's nest? That kind of looks like a bird's nest. I wonder who lives there. Sorry, guys. I was having a, a squirrel moment, but a little, little bird nest up there. Unless that's a squirrel nest. Since we have a squirrel moment. Anyway, let's get back to fishing. You can see right there, you see the rocks and pieces of concrete in the water right there. Them cichlids tend to like that, so this looks like it might be a good spot. Oh, I see another one. Two more. Let's see if we can't get some bigger ones. Let's see if we can't get it in that hole. Oh, yeah, there's a few of them congregating right there. Let's see if we can slingshot it. Nope, can't do it. Let's try that again. Pew. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, here they come now. Look, as soon as it hit the water. Suck it down, suck it down, suck it down. Come on. Come on. Come on. They almost got it. Oh. Sneaky devil. Sneaky, sneaky devil. Put that worm right on the tip. Put it right on the tip where they gotta get it. There we go. We have them? No, we're hung up on a stick. Of course we're hung up on a stick. Why wouldn't we be hung up on a stick? These guys might be a little too small. Oh, there we go. Got another bite. There, oh, he's attacking it. Oh, 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 fish on. Fish on. Feels like a good one. Feels like a good one. What is it? Yes, it's a cichlid. Holy cow, look at the size of this dude. Yes, that's what we're looking for right there, huh? Look at that dude. That's a big one, man. I wish you could keep these alive. I'd like to put this suck in a fish tank or something, but uh, look at that. Huh? Big old blue. What you say, boy? Oh, no, no, no. And did I mention you could eat these? Because you can. Oh, can't put them in there. All right, let's see if you had any partners hanging out right there. Funny part is, I threw it right there. I didn't get nothing, no bites. Then I dropped that cork a little deeper, and that's where he was, so... Let's see if he got any pot nahs hanging around. Hey, you all right? Jeez, that was a heck of a fall you just had. I'm thinking there should be something under that little culvert that's sitting in there. Because it's making a little... Oop, don't get stuck in the tree. He got a little triangle, and I think there's a hole right there. So I'm going to try and drop it right in front of that. Bring it over there. I'm going to try and bring it right in front of there and see. Might have to drop that bait just a little bit lower. There's got to be something up under there. I mean, that's where I'd be. In the shade. Nice and safe. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There's something in there. He's trying. He got it? Nope, he don't got it. Come on, right in front of your face. Come on, get it, baby. Can't see what it is, though. Oh, he got it. He got it. Nope. Come on. <laughs> Eat it. Well, I guess he got all he wanted off of that. This looks like a money spot right here. Might have to drop the cork a little lower. But, I mean, oh, yeah, it's deeper right there. We'll give it a second, then we're going to drop that cork a little lower. Hope that wasn't too low. Hope that wasn't too low. Ah, God. dang it. Oh, yeah, I just messed that up even worse. Sorry about that, Mr. Cypress Tree. All right, come on, people. What, what, uh, what am I hung up on? Oh, man, that was my, man, that, that son of a biscuit. That was my good floating cork. Can we stand in this stuff? Any snakes? Snakes, Mr. Snake? Lots of snakes? No, I can't get in there because it's, All right, give me a minute. Oop, fish on. There we go. Little baby blue. Look how tiny that dude is. Check him out. That's pretty though, look how pretty. Little bitty guy, but fortunately for him, he can't go back. Got to go in the bucket. Is the law. What about over y'all? Anybody home right y'all? Yeah, somebody's home and they got me hung up. Now I'm hung up in a tree. This is not easy fishing y'all. Jeez, um, you pull up, you get caught in a tree. You pull down, you get caught in the grass. Oh, 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 we got him. No, we don't got him. Dang it. That one was a little bit bigger. And the freaking lilies again. Another little culvert, so. Like I said, they like them rocks. They like some concrete, some rocks, some riffraff. Stuff that they can get under. Cool. 
That one took it under, but that ain't no sickly. Get on out of here. Oh moly. Ooh, I hope you didn't see me. Probably seen me. There's a big one right there. Woo! There's a big one right there. Let's see if we can get it out there. We just had something bite it, but it wasn't what we we're looking for. That dude's big. I mean, it's right in front of his face. He just don't care. Now, it might be because he's seen me, so he ain't he ain't gonna try it, but I don't know. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, we lost another one. Oh, there he is. There's the big one. Come on, buddy. He's got it. Yo, oh, he had it. He bit it. Oh, I hope I didn't mess it up. There we go. I got him. <laughs> we didn't even look. I didn't even wait for the cork to go on. I just watched him put it in his mouth. Look at the size of this dude. Oh, I get out of this jungle. This is another big one. Look at this dude. Look how pretty he is. What? Look at that dot on him. I have never seen that before. Look at that dot. Big old turquoise dot. That's going to be another good eater right there, buddy. Choo boy. Alright, let's see if any of his buddies are hanging out. Come on, any more sickly partners? Go! Oh, whatever hit that freaking nailed it. Oh, oh, not the target species, but this dude sucked it down. Didn't even think about it. I mean, he cocheted the crap out of this thing. Woo, woo. That's what we need some cigarettes to do. I don't know where they at. They hiding from me. Woo, got another one. Well, they got some right there, huh? Is that a cichlid? Is that a cichlid? Yes! Got a cichlid, baby. Got some fish under that tree. As y'all can see, I'm actually in the water now. Because I couldn't get where I wanted to get. We got this big old boy right here. Not a big old boy right now. Alright. I left my stuff in the Jeep because I've been hitting spot and to spot and couldn't find nothing. But now that we found some fish under there, let me go grab it. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're good. All right, let's ease on back out there. Of course, now it's all cloudy. I can't see where I was standing. Because I done stirred up the mud, but I got to get kind of close to it. Because not too close to scare them off. But close enough to where I can aim and get in there without getting all up in them branches. I don't want to find this juicy spot and then keep breaking off in it. Right, here we go. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I tell you what, we'll just let it sit in there, see if something bites it, and it'll get it off of that branch. Like that. Look at him. Do we have him? All right, we good, we good, we good. Oh, look at that, right away, right away. Is it another cichlid? Oh, finally we found a good spot. Another decent one too. Not a decent one too. Yes! I'm telling you guys, after, I mean, it's been a couple of hours. I've been searching spot to spot. I wasn't going to bore y'all with the whole thing. But we weren't catching nothing. And now, we done found the honey, the honey hole. English can be tough at times. Wish I'd have brought my stringer. I could have just put them on a stringer and I'd have to go in. All right, let's see about that. Oh, no. Oh, that's tough. Whoop. All right. So that's two big ones and a bluegill that we pulled out of there so far. I think we might have to get further up in there. Oh yeah, there we go. That's a pretty shot right there. And nothing. Don't tell me that was only the tree fish. I done got all up in this water for that. See if we can ease up a little closer so I can get a better aim, try and get further under there. That's a little better angle. But that's a little bit better angle for the dangle. Let's see. Oh, there we go. There we go. I got something stirred up. Got something stirred up. Oh. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there she is. Oh no, we caught around a stick. Okay, we got it. 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 Yeah, yeah, <laughs> boy, they all big under here, cuz <laughs> they all big under here. Man, it's weird that drag. It's like I don't want to set it too loose. That's only a four pound test, but I mean, I guess for four pound, that little bitty reel, that's just kind of a big fish. 
So I guess I'll leave it like that. I guess it's better than that than breaking it. I'm breaking off. Oh, yeah. Y'all sit tight, buddy. Ooh, whoa, whoa, what's happening there? Simmer down, now simmer down. All right, it's like the exact same spot. We're already getting hits. Look at this. Holy moly. All right, well, that's a bluegill. He goes back. He goes back. There you go. There you go, cousin. Ooh, way back up in there. That's what I'm screaming. Let's see what we got way back up in now. Oh, oh, we're dancing. Or is that just the waves? Nope, we're dancing. We're dancing. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, I'm getting all excited. Quit playing with it and eat it. Yeah, I think it's something small. Probably took our worm. Daggum it. You realize how far it is to walk over there in the sinking mud? Oh, 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 okay. Oh, gosh, dang it. What do I have? I think my phone's fine. Got to calm down. Just easy does it. Man, that kind of hurt my back. Woo. All right, I got to find that little piece of wood or whatever I was standing on so I don't sink. So that next time we try and get out, we don't do what we just did. All right, here's a little hard piece of something. I guess we'll try and stay right here. Yep, oh, oh, fish on. Little bluegill. I got a little smart this time. I'll put the pack of worms in my back pocket. You know, I ain't tried on this backside. I mean, it ain't as pretty as them trees, but these rosos might be holding something. Probably not that far out, though. And no. Fish on. Fish on, another big blue. Oh no, we hung up. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, there's another big one. Another big one. Come here, buddy. Oh, look at that big dude. Boy, this tree is full of them. Look how big this one is. This has got to be the biggest one today. This has got to be the biggest one today. Come here. Look at that. That is a big blue. Holy moly. Look at the size of that thing. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Hold on now, hold on now. Bluegill. Well, this tree is holding everything. They all under here. All them big ones. Ooh, that's gonna be a tough to pull them out of there. That's gonna be tough to pull them out of there. Oh, you just helped me out by swimming to the outside. And it's another blue. All right, I think we're just gonna, oh, no. Oh, I just committed a crime. That was not my intentions, Mr. Officer. Oh, 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 no. We just hung up on something. Oh, don't tell me we hung up. I ain't going all the way out there to get it. Oh, not another break off. Oh, wait. No, our cork's just floating. Son of a bitch. Got a little tough there for a while, but right there at the end, we ended up finding the honey hole, the sweet spot. And we managed to catch a few. So here's the situation. This is how we're going to do it. If you've seen my last shrimp video, uh, we cooked it in the microwave. And it came out surprisingly well. So I was thinking... Maybe we try it with fish? So I already got my butter melting in the microwave. Already melted in that oven. That bowl is hot. But all it is is butter in the microwave, all nice and melted. And then uh, we're gonna add some seasonings. Just like we did the shrimp, here's the little fish fillets. Look at them. Pretty meat, looks just like a little perch, little bluegill action. And they taste pretty near the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this here Cajun Creole seasoning. Gotta put that garlic in there for sure. A little black pepper. Ain't got much black pepper left. Need to get me some more. A little parsley. I mean, that looks good. Anything else? Just cause. Some paprika. Mix that up. Make that a little butter sauce. I'm gonna dip one of these in there. We're gonna dip it in here. Dip it and flip it. Make sure it's coated. Dip it and flip it. Now the shrimp only took a minute. I'm assuming these will probably be maybe a little bit more than a minute. But uh, we're gonna find out. Do a little test run. Now they dipped and flipped, covered in the juices. And now we're gonna stick it in this here futuristic contraption known as the microwave. For one minute. 
Boy, there is some snap, crackle, popping going on in there. I think it's going to need a little bit more time. So it's definitely cooking, but there's a little bit of translucency left on that. So we're going to make sure it's good and cooked. Because I'm pretty sure it's not this, it's not, it's, it's not safe to eat that like sushi. I think it's done. Uh, looks like fish. Looks cooked, smells good. Flakes apart really easily. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Mm-hmm, that tastes good. Tastes fantastic, as a matter of fact. Now, I don't know if all fish would taste good in the microwave. I don't know how long all fish would take in the microwave, but um, as far as these real grand cichlids, probably some perch. Slap them in a bowl with some butter and some seasonings. Hook them right up. Now, what else can you do in the microwave? Let me know in the comments if you guys ever cook anything in the microwave besides shrimp or fish. Or if you've ever cooked shrimp or fish in the microwave. That really is good. So if you guys live in South Louisiana or you're just visiting and you find a place where they have those Rio Grande cichlids, fish them up. Cook them up. Eat them up. Use them as crab bait. Just get rid of them. They got too many of them and they ain't supposed to be here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. And, uh... Catch on the next one. That really is good. Can't believe that worked.